Oh, hi there. Oh, you've come back for some more Gene Forge, have you? Well, I'm glad you like it. Maybe you don't. Oi! Abandoned fail, more like. That's where we are today. Exploring a new area. It's already spoilers in the name. It's abandoned, apparently. How are we gonna live? I wish I could... Can I? No. I was hoping I could put things on the quick bar down there. Oh, we're almost encumbered. So I don't know. I was wondering if maybe that was why I was missing so much. But no, it was just luck. Well, look at this place. I love the mini-map. It's nice and simplistic. What is that junk? You immediately recognise this large building for what it is. This was a shaping hall. What well, was? But you just said for what it is. God! You knew that there must be one of them on this island somewhere. Here, the shapers on this island did their work. Using magic and force of will to make creations. Both established and experimental designs. If there was a cataclysm, though, it didn't take place here. This building is undamaged. Looks a bit naft, actually. To the side you can see energizing pools. Holes in the ceiling allow light to shine on them. Remarkably, despite their years of neglect, they have survived. Well, yeah, they are energizing pools. They probably energize themselves. Or something. The goo inside a pool is a semi-living plant-like form. Capable of drawing energy from the air and the sun. If you stand near a pool, you will be able to replenish your health or essence, depending on which pool you use. In the corners of the hall, you can see two glowing glass canisters. Oh yes! They wait there, ready to give you power. Click on the two books to read them. They will teach you useful things about essence and making creations. I'll try. Ooh! I'm alive. I've never felt so. What we got? Secrets of Essence. Essence is represented by the blue bar on your character's graphic in the roster. We don't need to read this really, do we? This is just tutorial stuff. Make creations, yep. Yeah. Some of the more powerful spells, like healing. Yes, please. When you spend Essence to cast spells, I should read it. You get it back by returning to town or by approaching an essence pool like the one nearby. However, making creations reduces the maximum amount of essence you can have. If you have a total of 30 essence, for example, and you make one Fiora which costs 10 essence, great, math game, then your new maximum is 20. You can't get the other 10 back until the Fiora dies or you absorb it. Oh, absorption for. It's up to you whether to make a lot of weak creations or a few strong creations. Save your essence for spells or a mix of the three. Geneforge makes all of these options viable. Oh, cheers, Geneforge. You're cool. The canister. The canister in this chamber. There's two. Grants the ability to form your first creation. To learn more about creations, read the book against the west wall. Right, here we go. This is... This is what I'm a bit worried about, because I don't know how it works. Never done it before. I kind of know how it works, but I don't know how to play it properly. To survive on Susia Island, you will probably need to make creations to fight for you, especially if you're playing a Shaper. When you use the canister on the left, you will learn to create a Fiora. Why has it not got a capital F? A small fire-breathing lizard. Oh! I'm obviously making that then. To make a Fiora, you will need at least one level of fire shaping skill. If you don't have this and want to make a Fiora, you will need to train in this skill when you next gain a level. I haven't even gained one yet. To make a creation, press the creation button to the lower left. It has a worm on it. Oh yes, worms. The symbol of creation. You will then spend some of your essence to create a Fiora and improve your, its skills. The more essence you spend on one Fiora's skills, the less you will have left to create more of them. See, this is all very complicated. You can create up to seven servants. You can't get the essence you spend back until the creation dies or you reabsorb it. You already said that. Except you said absorb last time. Finally, it's a good idea to buy at least two levels of intelligence for your creations. If you do, you will be able to control them in combat, otherwise they will act on their own. And they may not always do what you want. If you started out as an agent, you might not have the ability to make a Fiora. To get it, select improve abilities in the inventory area. 
and buy one level of fire shaping. Let's just have it. Oh, what's this? Heal. Ah, oh, there we go. That's on the bar now. Or we could just use heal pods instead. Another dagger. Am I? I am weighed. Oh dear. Let's um. Let's get rid of some sticks. Oh, I didn't put the belt on. You silly flump. Drop a few rocks as well. How are we doing now? Fine. We're alive again. How close are we to leveling? Semi. Enemies don't respawn in this, by the way, so no, don't think you can just go back and fight those Oranks again. Ah, look at him. Isn't he adorable? I would have dinner with it. Ding! Right, two points of intelligence. What else should we put in? Hang on a minute. What does heal cost? No. Abilities. Uh, I don't know if it costs any essence. It doesn't say for some reason. Let's have a look. It does. It costs a little bit. It costs two. So we're going to need to keep some of it. Let's create a Fiora. Just for your ass. What? It's like mini level ups. Bung, bing, bung. Yeah, I don't know. Probably gonna want strength, aren't we? Because if it dies, we can at least come back and get our essence back. Has it got a name? No. Ah, oh, let's call it Bob. Yum. Do these? I don't know if they're worth anything. I don't think you can carry anything. No. Turn AI on? What's that? Oh, rename! Yes! Bob! Evolve creation? I don't know, man. I don't know. Hello, Bob. Let's go on a wacky adventure, shall we? Formation... Yep. I guess that kind of looks good. Uh, he'll still right behind me. I guess you can not drag them around, actually. Wait. Why nine? You can only have up to eight. God. I want that one. No, I don't. Let's have that one. I wish I could move them. There must be some way, right? Whatever. Okay then, let's go on an adventure with Bob, shall we? Come on, mate. Let's kill some noobs. I don't know how experience works, though. Because, yeah, that's also something I was worried about. I think experience is shared in some way. Which will suck, because if it's getting experience in my place that's going to be rubbish when it dies because that experience is wasted, right? You find a sign that the evacuation of this island was not completely orderly. There is a body here. It's barely more than a skeleton. It's been here for a long time. Based on its garments, you think it was a shaper. The shapers here made their supplies to last. Looks like some of the stuff on the corpse is still usable. Crops. Oh, look at it all. I don't want it. Healing spores. Now I'm majorly Cumberland again. Okay, robes are pretty heavy. Let's get rid of them. Just get rid of everything for now. We're going to find plenty of rocks in the world, I would imagine. And we're probably going to find that as well. And sticks. Bonk! Is the meat heavy? Bloody well is as well, kind of. Here you go, dead body. Equivalent exchange. I gave you a bunch of trash. Is that equivalent? Not really. 
Soon you'll have to fight your first battles. I've already had battles. Several rogue furors. Best time to defeat them depends on what sort of character you picked. Right, I wanna... I don't know, I wanna see what happens with the experience. If you're playing a shaper, you should make at least one Fiora. I can only make one. Hello? If you're playing as a guardian, you should have found and equipped one of the daggers. I've already done that as well, anyway. There's another hidden in this section. Oh yeah, I already got it. Hello? Hello, other bobs. If you get wounded or Fiora dies, you can rejuvenate yourself with the pause in a building. Yeah, yeah, I can. I found the quick save button, by the way. Finally, if you've not yet saved the game, I have. You should do so now. Yep. Hello? Hello? There is a Fiora standing on the path ahead. It's a very familiar sort of creation, especially since I just made on course it's familiar. Shapers have made them for centuries to serve as bodyguards, watchdogs, and even sex toy I mean pets. You've been around hundreds of them. This one, however, is different from any Fiora you've ever seen. Doesn't have the usual expression of servility and obedience. Doesn't look at you as a master, but but as food. Oh yeah. Oh no. You have heard tales of creations which have turned on their creators. Well, I'm not its creator, so and gone rogue but it almost never actually happens. If it ever did, the rogue creation would be instantly destroyed. This Fiora has definitely shed any shape of control. It bares its teeth at you, seemingly daring you to step forward. Yeah. Oi, I didn't step forward yet. Foggin' heck. Let's, let's hang back a little bit for now, Bob. Oh, me arse. Don't burn me. Die. Shy it. It has been blobbed. I didn't even take any damage, so that's pretty good, that is. So yeah, I got 75 experience. Hang on a sec. Hang on just a sec. I just want to see. Yep. Bob it once. And then, oh, hang on, oi, don't come after me, not during combat, oi, eat me, I'm bubbering, bubber I'm buggering off, kill Bob if you want, I want to see if, oh god, the health on this guy. Okay, let's see if I can just... He melted. Hi! Oh, you, you've got all your health back, you have. I'm sorry for this, I just want to learn. How much health do you have? Why are you healed already? Oh boy. Oh boy. 75, okay, so maybe it is all the same. I don't know. It, it's weird. Anyway, let's go win properly now. Sorry about that. I just have to learn. Phew! Okie dokie. So when you get wounded, yep. Yeah. Can I not. Do I not have, like. I do have spell energy. Why did I not. I don't get it. Hello? Hi. It's another Bob creature. Where is my... Oh, spell energy just comes back, does it? Okay, so it's like stamina. I'm not used to using magic. You guys can't hit anything, can you? Do you see why I like these games? Probably not just yet. Pretty simple, isn't it? But, um, you know, I don't know, I, mostly I just like exploring the areas, finding cool treasure. It's been yonk since I've played this one. Played it back in Florida. That was forever ago. Trash. Hang on, 
there's still stuff down that I, that I haven't found. Uh, I want to look over here. And not over here. No. No, I'm not playing any of these. Go away. You've already told me all this stuff. Turn on a switch that turns off those messages. No, because you might want to come back and reread it. Right, well, there's nothing over here, is there? No, there actually isn't. The road comes to a dead end here. A thick, impassable stand of trees has completely overgrown it. What's the point then? God. Now I have to wait. So while we are waiting, we are master. No, we're not. How has it only been 16 minutes? We've already done half the map. Probably because there hasn't been as much reading this time, actually. That would make sense, wouldn't it? Well, this is a, a good start, but, you know, that was only the first real enemy of the game, so... I imagine things will get dodge. Munch! Excuse me, creature who is about to die. Stop eating everything that I could be eating instead. Hello? Hi. You surely are rubbish at this, aren't you? There's a book in here. Let's read it. And weep. Notes on combat. Each round, your character gets a base of eight action points. Moving and doing actions uses them up. Now I'm imagining Hunter reading this. Using an item costs three action points, and attacking costs five. No. If you try to attack and you don't have five action points left, your turn ends. Fart. Clicking on a character also ends that character's turn. Excuse me, but in the later games, as long as you have at least one action point left, you can attack. As long as you're in range. Speed, spells, and some items increase your action points. Carrying too much weight, being stunned, or being slowed takes away action points. The order by which characters act in combat is determined by their speed. The more dexterity and quick action skill a character has, the faster it will act. Very useful tip. To end a character's turn prematurely, click on the character or hit the space bar. That is very useful, that is. Cheers. You already told me it a minute ago. But yeah, I'll remember it now. Whoop! Get in there, Bob. Am I in the way? Sorry, Bob. Oh. Here you go, buddy. Let me get out of the way for you. You fell into my trap card. Why does it do no damage to me? Fog. It said 16. Hello? What do you mean my route is blocked? That, that route is blocked, but. Blimey heck. Things are a bit more primitive. Oh! Yeah, cool. In these games, I usually like to save up my points and just. Shut up! And just spend them when I, like, need something. Because there ain't nothing quite as painful as coming across something that I need a level up for to put points in. Look though, seven whole points. But yeah, for now I'm just going to hold on to it, see what we need. If I start dying I'll put some points in health or something. If I find a door that I can't open because I need more bloody mechanics, I'll put some in mechanics. Yum. Also. It's just nice saving up a whole flump ton of points and dumping it all in at once, isn't it? A big old hefty level up. Just like in Dark... Hello? Just like in Dark Souls. Hello, actually? No one is here. Hello? Hi. Come on, Bob. Bob, I choose you! rubbish, Bob. Cheers, Bob. Whoever said nice words. Motivate. 
you calling him an uh, calling him an idiot or rubbish? That was what I called him. Made him do better. Rule with an iron fist. Hello. This was a storage warehouse. Well, it still is, but now instead of housing useful supplies, it holds mouldering trash, mouldering, and scullying. The sacks of meal in the corner, for example, have not been treated well by their years here. On the counter to the west, however, you see something which looks very useful. There are several thorn batons. Oh, yes. Baton. One of which looks like it's still alive. What the fuck? Thorn batons are one of the Shaper's most ingenious creations. Basically living guns. They are a mix of living and inert matter. The balls are inert. Plants with a touch of animal around a frame of metal, capable of firing a small sharp projectile at high velocity. It's such a weird world. This is the kind of stuff that makes them interest in these games. Even though Avernum doesn't have as much weird stuff like this, but it's just very interesting. When unused, they go into hibernation and can live for a long time. Most of the batons abandoned in this room have died, but one managed to survive. He's gonna shoot me! I haven't tried the thorn batons properly, I might have to this time. Since I'm not gonna be doing strength stuff, but... I don't know, it's gonna be all about... Uh, yeah! It's gonna be all about balancing what to put points in magic or stuff like that. Excuse me, hidden thing behind the wall. God, oh yeah, you weren't kidding. Nothing works, as in nothing has anything. But yeah, I'm usually not much of a mage person in RPGs. I prefer just smacking things with a big metal poblom until it dies. Or until they... Hello? Get out of here! I'm trying to enjoy some privacy with my bob. I wouldn't mind if you got involved as well though, but you, you're you into some weird stuff that I don't like. Like cooking me alive for one thing. Get that crap out of here. Hello? Why did a door open? What's going on? Oh, hello. Let's go bob him up. Alright, that's enough bob for one life. I'm sorry. Can't help it when my pet is called Bob. We haven't taken any damage yet. Don't worry, we will. Perf. I'm liking this. Wait, I got more essence. Oh, bloody, look at it all. Can I upgrade my Bob? Uh, maybe... I don't get this. He's level 3. Right, he's level 3 because that's how many points I put in. So I guess if you keep something alive long enough it gets its own levels as well? I don't bloody know. So like it benefits you to look after a pet and keep it alive for a long time? Something like that, maybe, I don't know. Bim, bomb. Right. Uh, otherwise it'll act on its own, yeah. Help creature resist mental attacks, keep from fleeing in combat. I don't know. Attacks damage bonus. I think I want some dexterity so that he hits. Maybe some endurance. Oh look, globules of flaming saliva. Give him some strength as well, because sometimes things survive after we fight them. I mean, when we fight them, so it would be cool if we can kill them in one instead, so that I'm at less risk, even though I haven't taken any damage yet. Because I've got like 69 evasion or something. <laughs> did I? I did see everything over there. Right, what have we got going on in here then, eh? What does this pylon say? The worn writing on the obelisk is still legible. Quarantine Hall. All arrivals and departures must meet with servant mind before proceeding. Quarantine halls are generally placed between the docks and the main research facilities. These ruins must go on for quite a ways. Shouldn't it just be quite a way? I think ways is just some kind of weird 
speech that people do thing yeah speech that people do thing come on open sesame open sesame shut up uh oh carpet over there someone royal obviously a royal dweller yum we got some big fluffy boots for these cold days three one pee off sandals but aren't we encumbered fuck yeah we are that's alright I don't need to be fast anyway do I maybe that's the thing maybe you could just shove all the heavy armor onto yourself because you don't need speed I don't know people wishing to pass through quarantine originally signed in here before waiting for inspection none of the names are legible anymore and the pages crumble at your touch I didn't choose to touch it I was just having a look God, I touched it with my eyes. Hello, oi! I was trying to move. This was the quarantine waiting hall. People wishing to enter or leave Susia Island through this port waited here to be questioned and inspected by the servant mind. What? And sure enough, the mind is still here, resting to the north. You marvel at the skill of the shapers who made these remarkable creatures. Their careful construction and ability to hibernate gave them remarkable lifespans. It is still alive. A servant mind is a very specialized and useful sort of creature. Once grown, it never moves again. Oh, fat. Basically a dragon. It spends its life in a stone crib made to fit it. Like a breakfast bowl. Once there, it spends its entire life thinking, remembering, analysing, and advising the shapers. That was too much brain work, actually. Maybe it's not a dragon. As you approach, you can see the creature struggle to rouse itself. Oh dear. <laughs> oh. From its slumber. Oh. It seems likely that it is eager for company after its years here. Never mind, it's a pig with a scary human face. Look at it. Gaze at its beauty. Don't actually. Dialogue. You carefully approach the servant mind, unsure of how its time alone in these ruins has affected its faculties. Fortunately, its eyes are clear and bright, and its body appears whole. It has the massive skull characteristics of, the, of these strange creations. Oh. Welcome, Shaper. Oh, it's a fatty. Maybe I should do. Welcome, Shaper. I am Mind Tavit. It says, reflexively reading through, reading from an internal script centuries old. Do you wish to pass through quarantine? Oh dear, here we go. Dialogue trees of Bob. Not Bob again. What do I have to do to pass through quarantine? Allow me to inspect you carefully. If I judge that you have no threatening infections or concealed rogue creations, I will unseal the door to the north so that you may pass. Uh, don't let me go yet. What happened to this island? Why was it barred? I'm sorry, Shaper. I'm limited to the scope of my knowledge. When I was left here, I was given no further information or instructions. How long ago were you abandoned? I do not know. I have spent all of that time in hibernation. The decay in my internal organs indicates that the time was well over a century. I'm sorry that I cannot be more precise. How long has it been since someone came through here? You are the first since I was abandoned. Why was Susie Island abandoned? I do not know. I know a little of its purpose, but nothing of why I was left here for so long. What was the purpose of this island? Research! Not the most useful answer you could have hoped for. Oops, what was that? Hang on. What did I just say to it? I have another question. I am eager to assist you further, Shaper. Do you wish to pass through quarantine? This is what it asked before. This mind must have very limited programming. Are you alright? You have been here for a long time. I'm functioning properly. I can still do what I was made to do. You don't mind waiting here for so long? I, I, I'm functioning properly. I can still do what I was made to do. I was not made to have other thoughts. Apparently you were made to have the thought of not having other thoughts though. God. Right, please allow me to pass through quarantine. The creature looks at you carefully. It makes a low, soft humming noise. You don't feel anything, but you suspect some sort of magical augmentation. Oh, Deus Ex! No, it's allowing the creature to 
instructed the creature to analyze you in minute detail. Eventually the noise stops. Tavit says, I find no reason to impede your progress further. The exit door will open at your approach. Oh, was Bob hiding around the corner so you didn't notice him? Alright, that is all I need from you. Thank you, Shaper. I will rest and conserve my energy now. Yeah, spoken like a true fat ass, And fat everything by the look of it. It looks like we're almost done here. On this side of the quarantine hall, you can see another flock of orcs. Ah, free experience, basically. This group, however, is not alone. It is watched over by a servile. Oh. Serviles are one of the greatest shaper creations. They are the most common and valued servants of your people. Intelligent, hardy, obedient, and featuring hands with opposable thumbs. They are also easily controlled. If there are serviles here, this isle must be nowhere near as savage and uncontrolled as you had feared. Serviles are weak and easily cowed creatures. What? Eat them. If there were any real threat here, they would have been quickly wiped out. Your emergence from this hall is clearly the last thing the servile expected. He looks hot, terrified at first, then curious. He leaves his flock behind to come and speak with you. He probably wants fresh orders. Well, I'm sorry, but you're going to have to wait, because I do not have time to read you right now. Oh god, it's a gremlin. It's a lot of reading. And it's the end of the part. So, next time, we're going to talk to Timo. Yeah, I was... I was briefly considering doing like one area per part of this but with all the reading it's gonna vary so yeah oh, yeah I'm enjoying this so far though the reading is fun especially doing voices for them and especially since the choices here are like me speaking so I'm having a conversation with myself luckily I've got a bottle of water here with me as well because this reading is gonna kill me otherwise oh anyway, yeah thanks for watching next time we'll talk to Timo and presumably leave this area and continue exploration. Goodbye!